It's an exciting moment. You just landed on your dream property to go off grid on. Only thing is, there's nothing there. No house, no water, no power, nothing except the dream of your future off-grid homestead. So what do you do? What's the first thing that you need? How do you get started? For a lot of people, they need to get some source of power. Without power, you can't build your house or install your solar system or build your water catchment tanks. You need power to make it all happen. Now you can go out and buy a generator that costs maybe close to $1,000 or more. But did you know that you probably already own a generator? And that generator is your car. And most people have one. And with one simple device, you can turn it into a generator that powers your tools, your computers, your refrigerator, whatever you need to get started on your off-grid homestead. Now, what is this device you may ask? A power inverter. This one is a Best Tech Pure Sign 1000 watt power inverter that can power pretty much almost anything that you need to power. For only $150, you're turning this car here into a power source for your new off-grid homestead. And it's super easy to use. But before I show you how to use it, why did I choose this Best Tech Power Inverter over others? Well, this, like I mentioned, is a pure sign power inverter, which means that it has a clean energy that can work devices that a modified sign power inverter can't. A modified sign power inverter cannot control a lot of power tools. It's not compatible with uh, battery chargers for your power tools. Your computer won't work on it. And sometimes your refrigerator may not work properly on a modified sign inverter. But a pure sign inverter has no problem powering all of that. Now I chose this one at the 1000 watt model because it's strong enough to power almost anything. It could power my power tools and it could power my refrigerator. My refrigerator mostly runs off of like about 200, 250 watts or so. But when it boots up, there's something called running watts where it spikes up for just a moment up to seven or 800 watts. And so I, you need something big enough to handle that spike. So a thousand watts is more than enough to do it. And with power tools, some of the power tools run pretty heavy wattage. So you want an inverter that can handle those as well, especially when you're here on the off-grid homestead and you're using power tools all the time. So let me go ahead and show you how this thing works. But before I do, why don't you go ahead and plant your finger on that like button? All right, come on, go ahead, plant that finger right there on that like button there. All right, did you get that done? Let's show this thing off. Now to turn your car into a power source, all you have to do is hook up your inverter to the battery. So once hooked up, it'll take 12 volt DC power and turn it into 110 volt AC power. Perfect for everything we need for the off grid or in case of an emergency. You can see here that it has two USB ports to charge up your uh, phones or any other devices that take those. And we have two plug outlets that can power as much as 1000 watts of power. Now, if you're powering a fridge and also trying to power a power tool, you cannot run it at the same time. You have to do it one at a time because that would add up to more than 1000 watts. So you can see hooking it up was kind of cumbersome. I would suggest getting new wires that have clamps instead of having to screw this on every time. And the fan is running and I don't even have power running into it right now, which is something I don't like because it tells me it's drawing power for no reason right now. So let's go ahead and see what this thing does when we plug it in. All right, so I got my car on, I got my sander here, and we're gonna try and plug it in the inverter and see how it works. This thing takes a little bit of a higher load, so I turn the car on first to, just to make sure that I have enough power running. The moment of truth. The sander kicks on no problem and even tells you how many watts it uses here on the LCD screen, which is pretty cool. I have enough room to add a few more devices. Well, they're proof. It works. This little inverter has turned this car into a power source. And now on your off-grid homestead, you have a way to power your tools and get your projects done. Now, if you need a larger inverter than this, you can get a Giondo 2200 watt inverter. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description for that and this one down below, but that one could power even more than this 1000 watt inverter does. The Giondo 2200 watt inverter is 
an awesome inverter. It costs a little more, close to $300, whereas this one costs $150. But if you're running a bunch of stuff at one time, that could be a great inverter to use. Man, I sure wish I knew about these over 20 years ago. Back then, I had no power when I first got on my homestead. I was living in my car. I had a generator on site, but I didn't know that I could use an inverter to be able to turn that car into a power source that I can actually use. Instead, every night I drove into town, I went to the Dollar Theater and charged up the batteries for my power tools. That was every night of driving into town, spending the gas and time to do it, whereas I could have just saved that money and got a device like this instead. Don't do it the way that I did it. Get an inverter, save yourself a lot of time and money, and get all of your projects done quickly with just this $150 device. So if you're just getting off grid, I hope this little tip was a nice juicy one for you. I know that I wish I had it a long time ago. So thanks for watching everyone. I appreciate it. Till next time, a hooey hole.